All right, guys, so a little while back, I got a arc droid. That's one of those little CNC plasma cutter thing. Um, it's really cool, but I need, to make, uh, I need to make it its own little standalone center for cutting and all that stuff so it can just stay set up. Uh, if I need it, just pull it out, use it, put it back. I have some pretty cool ideas for making a, a little cutting center for this thing that's going to keep it pretty compact, um, yet easy, easy to just pull out and use. So I'm going to start by using one of these Vulcan welding centers uh, or welding carts. And that's going to be our base for our cutting center. So uh, check this out. I think it's going to go pretty good. Um, this is all just in my head. Um, I just kind of troubleshoot my way through things like this. Um, and usually it turns out pretty cool. So let's get going on it. Okay, so here's what I had. So this is gonna be the bottom. Um, and then this guy here is our frame. So that's eight, eighth inch thick by six inches. Yep, by six. So it's eight, eighth by six. So that's gonna be our frame. Um, and I think I should be able to bend that. Okay, so I laid it out with scribe lines. Um, and I accounted for this to be 3 sixteenths of an inch thick material. So, uh, because we're going to bend it on the line and it's going to grow. Um, it's eighth inch material, but I don't know if I, I don't think I can bend it crisp enough to where it's only an eighth inch of growth. Um, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to leave that one run wild. Um, so it, it, it will be extra long. So, um, basically I just need to bend it on all the lines. It should fit theoretically. After I do that, and it should be an eighth inch small all the way around, but um, that's given that I've been, I've been an absolute perfect 90 with no radius at all, um, which isn't going to happen. So it, it's going to grow. So hopefully, hopefully a 16th is enough. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it as tight as possible on my bench.
All right, so this seemed kind of weird, but it'll work pretty good and I don't have to modify this thing to do it. Because these holes are what this bracket goes in normally. So instead, I just put some nails through it and build some holes that the nails can be received in. And the rubber holds onto it really good, so I don't really have to worry about it coming out. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so I used double clamps and I also threw in some TIG rod. So that TIG rod, I'm going to zip tie and just bend that nicely around like this. And that will give it a little bit of support, kind of keeping it up where I want it. Okay, so I got it turned on. I have the amps at, let's go 45. That's eighth inch. Um, it has a slight bow to it. So let me show you how this works. The very first thing you gotta do on this thing is push home when you turn it on. And that's just so it knows where it's at. So it's just gonna go home. And then we'll load a, let's see if we can do it while it's going home, we cannot. I have a simple gusset we're going to put in here. So let's go. I got a folder named Cut Files. And then I have a No Center gusset. It's a really simple gusset. Um, just like that. It'll be an inch and a half by inch and a half. Kind of thin material, but that's okay. So I put it right here on the corner so that we can zero it. And that'll put this right on this, it doesn't matter if you move it now, it already knows where it is. Um, so that we can be as frugal as possible with our little plate here. So um, basically that thing tells you it won't cut if you just wanna see it run it uh, to make sure you have enough plate for it. So it's not gonna actually cut here, it's just, gonna, it's just going to uh, go around it. So that's, that's the simple gusset there. So we can now turn that on. It was on the plate the entire time. Let's, I'm gonna turn the speed down a little bit because I have it going really fast right now. So let's just do this at, let's see if we'll do it at 70, 70. And this is more of the plasma cutter that you have more than anything else. So now we got the lightning bolt is not And since I have the fine cut tip in here now, I actually need to take away some kerf. So it's slightly large actually. So um, I can take away a little bit of kerf. So to do that, you just put tune, tune. So, and we will say that we have less kerf now. So it's probably gonna be like about a 45. So let's go 0 .0, oops, 0 0.045. There. So now it'll be 45, so this next one will probably be a little closer. So let's do that. Let's say zero, and then go ahead, cut it. Let's see what happens.
is actually right on. So it should be inch and a half, and it's right there. So we're doing pretty good. So now there's all sorts of adjustments you can do on this thing to, you can slow it down, you can speed it up. Um, and you'll learn all that by how much slag you have on the back there. Um, that's stuck really good. So that means we could probably actually speed it up. So let's try doing another one, but let's speed it up first. So let's go back to the 80 that I had. So now this is the travel speed at 80. I think we have enough room there, but we can start it about right there. So this is one of the perks of having the angle iron, um, but there's a lot of drawbacks that outweigh the perks. Um, so I think after we rebuild this, this bar deck, uh, I'm gonna do flat bars, and then I'm gonna do uh, just below the flat bars, I'm just going to do an expanded metal so that the parts will fall and, and just stay on the expanded metal, but it won't cut the expanded metal because it'll be too far away. So um, it should work pretty good, but uh, this works for now. Um, and it's really not that bad, actually. So it's, the smoke is, is not too bad. Okay, so this, I have a noticeable amount of kerf. Um, so we either could slow it down or turn the heat up on the plasma cutter a little bit, which I think is what I'm going to do. And then once we get all this figured out, we will write that down so we know when we're cutting eighth inch mill scaly plate, because uh, clean plate's gonna be a little different. Um, and we have our fine cut tip on that we have all our settings uh, down. So I turned up my plasma machine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and zero it right there and then run it. Pretty much took care of the curve, but there's still a little bit that I can see. Most people wouldn't notice. But those are nice looking little gussets. Let me put them on. Like that. So now let's cut out something a little more complicated. <laughs> 